Uh, yes, my first time in this part of Italy. Um, I've been looking forward to it in a way for decades. Uh, just the, the right opportunity didn't arise until, until this year. And I've, I'm having a wonderful time uh, visiting Anacataya, walking into this room and having the, the atmosphere, the, the aroma just uh, almost knock me out. <laughs> it's, it's been a, an intense experience. Well, for my book, I had to rely on uh, other books <laughs> because I hadn't had the direct experience. And so I, I wrote what other books said about how it's made. And of course, I bought a bottle and tasted it and was able to describe it in that way. But without having the, the immediate experience of being in a place where it's made and having someone like Giorgio give such a clear uh, explanation of the complexities. I mean, it's, my head is still spinning a little bit from, from all the details that are so important to get the product right, uh, especially after it being in barrels for decades. I mean, it's, uh, it, it really is mind-boggling. So I, I have a, a much more immediate understanding of the product. So uh, I'll, I'll have to think about that. I mean, I've, I've just had the experience. Now I need to think about how best to uh, share it with, with my readers. For me, it's, it's important to think about them separately because they are two different things, but I always enjoy them together. So for me, the importance is the, uh, the, the combination, the, the total experience. I would say it's mostly not known. So, uh, and in fact, when I first started writing about food, which was a while ago, in the 1980s, uh, we didn't know anything at all about balsamic vinegar. It simply wasn't available in the US. Now it's available and people understand how uh, delicious it can be, but because it's, um, uh, it has prestige now, there are all kinds of people making things that look like balsamic vinegar uh, that, that aren't. You know, uh, they're brown and a little bit viscous um, and come in a, a nice little bottle, but they're made in the U.S. or someplace like that and, um, and just don't have the same quality. The, the color comes from food coloring and not from age. So it, that's the... The downside of becoming famous is that then people imitate you and you have to work to distinguish the real thing from the imitations.